So, with the Substance Painter series over, we are well on our way to moving our base to Unreal Engine. Now, I brute force pumped out 62 videos in the last month for the Substance Painter series, and I'm really happy and proud of the series. But before we get into the hardcore of Unreal, I would just like to take a month to slow down, regroup, and just relax a bit to design a new character that we can have fun with using to learn how to control in Unreal 5. As many of you know, I have recently transitioned my genre from a more sci sci-fi style to a medieval fantasy style. And I'm really excited because this is a new genre for me, and it's a genre that I've really loved ever since I was a kid. But something really important that I've also learned over the years is to design a project with your strengths and your weaknesses in mind. And what I mean by this is I know that after years of working that my strengths are in designing armor, designing weapons, and rigging and animation. So it's probably a good idea to design characters in Unreal that do not require me to design faces because it takes an inordinate amount of time to make eyes, ears, lips, brows, lashes, facial rigging, and facial motion capture. I mean, there's just so much work that goes into making a fully functioning human face. So I really don't think it's a good idea to make a project where I spend most of my time doing those things when those aren't really my strong point. And that is actually the reason why almost all of the characters in every game I've ever made don't have faces. They're always wearing a helmet or a mask. And that's just because as the developer, it just saved me a bunch of time, which allowed me to complete a project in a deadline. So for this reason, I've decided that at least initially in the beginning, the first characters that I make for Unreal are going to be tactical military knights. Because as a character designer, knights usually hold weapons, so I don't really have to worry about motion capture with hand animations. And and they're usually also wearing helmets, so I also don't have to worry about the pain and frustration that comes with fixing face animations. This allows me to spend the majority of my time doing what I do best, which is sculpting the overall armor, the weapons, and the proportion of the character. And even though we are moving into a fantasy genre, as a sci-fi guy, I really just can't completely let go of my love for playing with missiles, and bombs, and guns, and drones, and all the cool military designs that are just badass, so I want to try and inject just a little bit of modern military into a fantasy world genre. So the target is probably going to be a ratio of 75% classical European medieval fantasy knight and 25% tactical modern military. So by the end of the month, we will hopefully have a new 3D character that looks something like this. Shoutouts to Lee One for making this gorgeous concept. Personally, there's a lot of little details that I would like to adjust and change, but overall the silhouette and the feel is beautifully executed and encapsulates everything that I would like to work on when I get to Unreal. Personally, I would love to try and make a female variant of this kind of character. Probably make a video on how to do boob armor. Shoutouts to Shadowversity, because you guys can be sure I will be following his advice to a T on that. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun furiously generating lots of cool ideas and designs for the world that I plan to build in Unreal. Starting from today, I will be uploading concept art three times a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and one more time in the evening on Twitter and Instagram. And the picture are all different. So what you see on Twitter is not what you will see on Instagram. So if you want to see all the stuff that I'm uploading, just follow me on both. And as usual, the support squad members that are Rook tier and higher get a little extra content because about once a week, you guys will see the character sheets that I think turned out particularly well. But yeah, I'm super excited to make these kind of characters and bring them to life in Unreal. But it is going to take some time to prepare, probably like a month, maybe two months. So that brings me to the problem of what do I do here on YouTube? Why while I'm working on designing the first character. I have to find some sort of middle ground that isn't too complicated that it takes up so much time for me to prepare a tutorial, but still useful and important enough that you guys will enjoy watching. And I think I found something that is a pretty good balance for this time period. There are some crazy awesome tools out there that I really think you guys should know about that are both super useful and also super free. So if you join me next video, I will tell you exactly what I plan to cover this month and why I think it's important for you. Anyway, as always, hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.